year students, today we will discuss theorems on different kinds of parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus, and square. After accomplishing this module, you are expected to prove theorems of the different kinds of parallelogram. Number two, apply the properties of a rectangle, rhombus, and square to solve problems involving rectangle, rhombus, and square. So in lesson one, theorem on different kinds of parallelogram. The previous module tackles the properties of the parallelogram. This module focuses on different kinds of parallelogram. You are encouraged to understand the following theorems or properties of different kinds of parallelogram. You are also advised to identify the unique properties of each kind of parallelogram. In addition, this module will help you solve problems related to different kinds of parallelogram using each theorem and property. Rectangles, rhombuses, and squares are considered special types of parallelogram. Apart from properties inherent to parallelogram, each kind of parallelogram processes unique properties. So, let us proceed to theorems on rectangle. So, in theorem number one, if a parallelogram is rectangle, it has four right angles. So, tandaan na, if parallelogram is rectangle, it has four right angles. In theorem number two for rectangle, if a parallelogram has congruent diagonals, it is a rectangle. Theorems on rhombus. Theorem on number three, the diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular. So, yung diagonal ng rhombus ay perpendicular. Alam naman ng perpendicular, right? Theorem number four, each diagonal of a rhombus bisects opposite angles. Bisects opposite angles. Theorems on square. In theorem of square, we have all properties of a parallelogram, all properties of a rectangle, all properties of rhombus. Nasa kanya na lahat. So, let us proceed to example number one. Given R, A, I, N is a parallelogram where R is a right angle. So, right angle is the measure of right angle is 90 degree, right? So, let us proceed prove that A, I, N are right angles. So, we need to prove that A, I, and N are right angles. So, proceed tayo sa statements and reasons. So, we have a table for the proofs. So, in, in number one, R, A, I, N is a parallel, parallelogram where R is a right angle. So, this is the first statement and the reason is given. Given na, nakita na natin siya. So, number two, measure of right of measure of angle R is 90 degree. So, we all know about 90 degree, this is a right angle. Number three, measure or angle R is congruent to angle I, angle A, angle N. It, uh, the reason is, a parallelogram, opposite angles are congruent. Number four, measure of angle R is equal to measure of angle I. Measure of angle A is equal to angle N, measure of angle N. This is the definition of congruent angles. So, in measure of right angle, uh, measure of angle R is 90 degree, the substitutions of statement number 2 and statement number 4. Yun yung reason natin. Measure of angle R plus measure of angle A is equal to 180 degree. So, consecutive angles are supplementary. Yung natatunan nyo din sa may properties of parallelogram. Next, number 7. 90 degree plus 
measure of right angle is equal to 180 degree. So, statement number 2 and 6. 90 degree is equal to 90 degree. A reflexive property. O, ano naman natin yung reflexive property? If A is equal to A. Ano lang din siya. Measure of angle A is 90 degree. Subtraction property of, subs of statement number 7 and 8. Measure of angle N is 90 degree. Based on the statement number 4 and 9. Angle A, angle I, angle N are right angles. So, this is definition of right angle. So, na-prove na natin na si angle A, angle I, angle N are right angles. So, therefore, triangle or rectangle R, A, I, N is a rectangle. So, this is a definition of rectangle. Proceed tayo sa example number 2. Given rectangle A, B, C, D with diagonals A, C and B, D prove that A, C is congruent to B, D. So, we need to prove that AC is congruent to BD. So, this, this is the illustration. So, in number one statement, so automatic, kunin natin si given. Rectangle ABCD with diagonals AC uh, and side BD are given or given. And then side AB, side AB and side DC is the opposite sides of a rectangle are congruent. Angle B, A, D and angle C, D, A are right angles. So, definitions of rectangle yan. So, angle B, A, D is congruent to angle C, D, A. Any two right angles are congruent. Then, A side A, D is congruent to side D. DA. Ito yung reflexive property. Triangle BAD is congruent to CDA. This is side angle side postulate. So, lagi nyo i-review nyo mga definitions of terms. Kasama yan. Pati mga postulates. And then, AC side AC side AC is congruent to BD. So, therefore, this is a corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Example number 3. In rectangle R, E, and T, answer the following. So, letter A, find E, T if R, S is equal to 13 units. And then, letter B, find measure of T, R, N, if R, N, T is equal to 24 degree. Note, the two pairs of opposite sides, R, T, and E, N, R, E, and T, N, with pairs of single and double R rows, heads, respectively means they are both parallel. So, tandaan, they are both parallel. Ito yung mga R rows na yan. So, proceed tayo sa letter A. So, in R, E, N, T, or rectangle R, E, N, T, answer the following. Find E, T, if R, S is equal to 13 units. So, number 1, ito yung solution natin. Diagonal E, T. Diagonal E, T is congruent to diagonal side of Rn. Si Rn ay dalawang Rs. So, identify the theorems that can be used to solve the problems. The diagonals of a rectangle are congruent. So, yung diagonal na itong dalawang to ay congruent. Since diagonals of rectangle bisect each other, so therefore, si Rn si Rn is equal to ET and RN 
is equal to 26 units. Kasi ang hinahanap naman natin, si R, si ET daw. Ano, uh, pa yung ET? Eh, si RS, 13. Twice mo lang si RS para makuha mo si, si, uh, twice mo lang si RS para makuha mo si ET. Dalawang RS para makuha mo si ET. Since, equal naman or congruent naman sila. Next, letter B. RENT, find the measure of angle TRN if measure of RNT is 24. So, triangle T is a right angle. So, identify the theorem that can be used to solve the, the problem. A parallelogram has one right angle and it has four right angles and the para parallelogram is rectangle. Since R, E, and T is a rectangle, so triangle R, N, T is a right triangle. So the acute angles T, R, N, and R, N, T are complementary. So therefore, si T, R, N, si angle T, R, N ay 90 degree minus K, R, N, T. Diba si TRN is uh, right, right triangle. So, yung minus lang natin si RNT para makuha na natin yung measure ni TRN. Which is 66. So, 90, 90 minus 24 is 66. Number 4 example. Given rhombus RO SE prove that RS is perpendicular to OE. So, number one statement, rhombus ROSE is given. We need to prove RS is perpendicular to OE. So, OS, si OS is congruent to OE. So, this is a definition of Rhombus. So, si OS, side OS is congruent to side OE. RS and EO bisect each other. So, this is the diagonal of parallelogram bisect each other. Si H is the midpoint of RS. So, reason, si EO bisect RS at H. Si RH, side RH, is congruent to side HS. Definitions of midpoint. Si OH, side OH, is congruent so OH, reflexive property. Si triangle RHO and triangle SHO, this is a side, side, side congruence postulate. Angle RHO is congruent to SHO. It is a corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Angle RHO and angle SHO are right angles. So, right are angle RHO and angle SHO from a linear pair are congruent. Side RS perpendicular to OE, it is a definition of perpendicular lines. Number 5. Rhombus B W X Y prove that number one prove that one is congruent to two and three is congruent to four. So statement number one, rhombus W B W X Y is given. Side Y B definition. So side Y B is congruent to V. W 
and wx is congruent to xy definitions of rhombus side y wy is congruent to yw reflexive property triangle y v w is congruent to the triangle w x y this is a side 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 congruence postulate so therefore the angle one congruent the angle two and the angle three is congruent to angle four by corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent Number 6 Quadrilateral S-A-M-E is a rhombus Find the measure of each of the following Letter A, angle A-S-M Letter B, angle S-M-A Letter C, side P-M Letter D, side S-M Letter E, angle S-P-E Letter F, side A S if side A M is equal to 4x minus 7 and side S E is equal to x plus 5. Let us first uh, answer angle by the measure of angle A S M. Solutions. So we need to find the measure of ASM. So ASM is congruent to ESM. So we need to identify the theorem that can be used to solve this problem. So each diagonal bisects the opposite angles of the rhombus. So substitute lang natin. Since ESM, ESM is equal to 50 degree, then measure din ng ESM natin ay 50. Kasi congruent naman sila parehas yung ASM at saka ESM. Since yeah, congruent sila, so same lang din yung measure nila. Letter B, find the measure of angle SMA. So, si angle SMA, we need to find the measure of angle SMA. So, si ESM, ESM is congruent to angle SMA. So, identify the theorem that can be used to solve the problem. This is alternate interior angles are congruent. So, measure ni E, S, M is 50. Equal din siya sa measure ni S, M, A, which is 50. Letter C, find the measure of side P, M, side P, M. So, itong side P, M, kukunin natin. So, si P, M, is congruent din kay PS. It's kay side PS. So, identify the theorem that can be used to solve the problem. This is diagonals of the rhombus bisect each other. So, substitute and solve lang natin. CPM ay 6 units. Since CPS ay 6 units. Since congruent yan, so, ibig sabihin, yung uh, side ni PM ay 6 units din. Letter D, find the measure of D. Side SM. Side SM. Kukunin natin yung measure niya. Since si PM, kanina nakuha na natin. Si side PM ay 50. And then side din ni, ni PS ay 50. Congruent din sila. Identify the theorem that can be used to solve the problem. The diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other. So, substitute lang natin. Pinukuha natin yung measure ni SM. So, 50. 6, 6 side SP or PS is 6 plus lang din natin yung measure ni PM na 6 so ibig sabihin 6 plus 6 is 12 
Okay, find the measure of letter E, angle SPE. So, si angle SPE, kukunin natin yung measure niya, yung angle niya. So, si SPE ay right angle. So, identify the theorem that can be used to solve the problem. The diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular. Perpendicular lines are lines that intersect of right angles. Lines intersect of right angles. Since angle SPE is an angle formed by perpendicular lines, therefore, angle SPE is a right angle. So, it is the measure of SPE is 90 degrees. Find the measure, letter F. Find the measure of side AS if side AM is equal to 4X minus 7 and, SE, and side SE is equal to X plus 5. So, si AS, side AS is congruent k side SE and also congruent then k side AM. Identify the theorem that can be used to solve the problem. So, all sides in rhombus are congruent. So, ibig sabihin, pare-pareha sila ng side. So, si AM ay x plus 5. Si SE ay 4x minus 7. So, equate natin si SE and AM. And then, solve natin. So, si SE ay merong 4X minus 7. And then, si EM ay X plus 5. Apply natin yung addition property of equality. So, ito, i-add lang. I-transfer lang din natin siya rito. Pwede naman i-additions property of equality yung gagamitin natin. So, since ito yung tatanggalin natin, add lang tayo ng plus 7. Both side, add lang din natin ng plus ng 7. So, uh, 4x minus 7 plus 7 tapos x plus 5 plus 7 yan so pinakamadali kasi transfer na lang natin siya para hindi na kayo malito so ito transfer lang natin to si x sa kabilang side so ibig sabihin kapag nag, nag transfer ka sa kabilang side mag change ka ng sign so 4x pag nin nilipat mo si x magiging negative yan negative x so 4x negative or minus x is equal to 3x then, itong si negative 7, ta-transfer mo lang din yan dito sa kabila. So, mangyayari, si 5 plus 7 na siya. So, ito cancel na kasi nag-add na tayo. Boom. So, 3x na lang natira rito. Ito, na-cancel na to. 5 plus 7 is 12. Divide both side by 3 para makuha mo to solve x. 3x is equal to 12. Divide both side by 3. So, x is equal to 4. So, to find the measure of side AS, if side AM is equal to 4X minus 7 and X, side SE is equal to X plus 5, sa substitute lang natin. Kanina, nakuha na natin yung value ni X. So, sa, trans, uh, sa substitute lang natin, si SE ay X plus 5. So, yung nakuha natin value kanina ng X is 4. Substitute lang natin, 4 plus 5. So, 4 plus 5 is 9 units. So, let us summarize the properties of parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus, and square based on graphic organizer below. So, ang properties niya, two pairs of opposite sides are parallel and congruent. Opposite angles are congruent. Consecutive angles are supplementary. Each diagonal divides the equatorilateral into two congruent triangles. Number five, diagonals bisects each other. So, ito yung paralel parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus, and square. Ito yung mga properties niya. Okay? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye!